Learn how to add color to your objects using the Material Editor in Cinema 4D. Let's check it out. Okay, here we are in Cinema 4D, and the first thing we need to do before we get to working with colors is go up to the very top here, and you have your icons for your render options. And the third one here is the render settings. If you click on that, what we need to do is we make sure that we set the width and height to work with the 1080p video. So by default, you can see right here it's 800 by 600. Now you can manually type in uh, what you need, or you have up and down arrows where you can scroll. Or this little button right here where it says custom settings, if you click that, you have some presets. Like here's film and video. We can scroll down and here's HDTV at 1080p, which is the resolution we want. And it's at 29.97 frames. So let's just select that. And you can see now we got 1920 by 1080. And we can hit the and close out the settings. And now we're set to work with HD video. Okay, let's put some objects onto our viewport here. Go up to the top and where you have the cube, just uh, let's add several cubes. All right, you can look over to the top right and you can see that I added seven cubes. Now let's spread them around, kind of just moving them. You know, select each one, move them out the way. That way we can uh, have all of them spread out and we're going to add some different colors to them. Now we first have to add a material before we can add color to it. So go to the very bottom in this blank area and just double click and you'll add a empty colored material there. Double click on the material and it's going to pull up the material editor now let's look real quick um, I have the RGB if you look at the icons at the very top and you have RGB red green and blue and to the right of that you have HSV which is hue saturation and value and to the right of that you can even go to Kelvin temperatures and then you have we're working with our color mixer and our color swatches and you have an eyedropper tool if you want to select colors that are on the screen right there you can do that now we're going to stay with red green and blue for right now now if you do not see the color wheel down here this little icon right here is the color wheel for some reason if it's not visible just click on that and it will pop up right there now we have different uh, selections below that in order to do like color theory you can choose different ones now the very first one is just taking this one simple one and you can drag and move it around and you can select colors all throughout the color wheel and you'll notice that the red green and blue values are changing as I move around now to the right of that you have the monochromatic and then you have other different ones if you ever stu studied color theory you can see this now right here the third one complementary let's do that you'll notice that now it gives me two color samples if I select the main one as blue you see over here it shows yellow on the other end because that is the complementary color of blue so I'm gonna go look here at pink and then you can see it has a green as the complementary color now let's say that I wanted to save this uh, green I mean this pink and green to come up later uh, all you got to do is click on that folder and it will let you save you know whatever you want so I can just say green and blue all right, if I hit OK, it's going to save a group of those two colors. Now, in order to see those groups, let's say that I'm going to take this pink and I'm happy with the pink and I'm going to go ahead and close out. And now I have created a material with that pink color. Now, I'm going to double click again to bring up an empty material. Double click on that material. Now, I want to go back and find that green color that was complementary. Over here at the very top right next to the eyedropper tool, there is your swatches. If you select that and highlight it, you'll see that there's saved swatches that you can create. So the very last one is that pink and green. So now I can select this green and double click on that green. It will put that green onto that uh, material. And now you, I can close it out and there's my two complementary colors that I saved, that pink and green. All right, now I'm gonna double click again, double click on this empty material. And I'm gonna go back to uh, my color wheel here. I'm going to turn off the swatches for now. And below here, instead of doing the complementary color, the one uh, two steps over to that, it says split complementary. Double click on that and move your selector around, and you'll notice that now it's going to split. So my main color, say it was this red, and then I have two colors below that. I have a green and a blue. All right, that's showing three swatches. So I can click on the folder. I can save this. As whatever I'm just gonna put test three right there and I'm gonna hit OK and go back to my color swatches to the top here and you can see that 
I saved. It will update and show you the one that I just saved. All right. So now before I, I tell you what, let's do, go on to this. That's just working with the different uh, the color wheel and the color options there. Now you can choose just the, you know, the value without the color wheel and you can move these around yourself and create your different colors. So you can work with the red, green and blue and add whatever you need to. Now, here's another cool thing. If you want, if you have an image that has colors and you want to sample colors from the image, here's what you do. Right here, it says color from picture. Select that and it pulls up this dialog box and it says no file. All right, to the very uh, right here, it has this little button and it has three dots. Whenever you see those three dots in Cinema 4D, that means you can select it and you're just gonna navigate to, to find out to your folder structure. Now I'm gonna pick this picture and it's going to load this picture and I have a selector right here and I can move around on this picture and sample these different colors. So let's say I'm going to stay on this red and I want this red to be one of my colors. Up, up here at the top, if you hit the plus button, it will save the red color and then it will give you a new one, this new one, that you can select this blue, this new selector and you can move around. Now you have two. So I'll put that one on yellow. I'll hit this plus button. It gives me a new one. I can move around come over here to this pink and now I'm just selecting different uh, color samples off of this image and if you look right up here next to this X it shows that I have three selections now the X will delete all of the all of them ones and the uh, minus you can do a selected color so I could just go delete all of the colors and I can start over with the image all right so that's pretty much just a quick run through of working with the colors now let me go ahead and add um, I'll just leave that one at a blue and I'm going to close it out. Now we've got three materials with three different colors down here. Double click to add a new material. Double click on the material and this time look over here to the left and you can see that we have color with a check mark and then down here we have reflectance, uh, reflectance with a check mark. I'm going to undo reflectance and I'm going to leave color selected and I'm going to just pick a color real quick. I'm going to pick this red color. I'm just going to go back to a simple red. All right. Now, if you uncheck the check mark next to the word color, you can see you have nothing. So I want you to select color. Now I go back down to where it says reflectance and then check that. And you notice that it makes this kind of a reflect. Uh, you can see the little white reflect, you know, symbol on the material. So go ahead and close that out. Now we got four different colors. Double click, add another material. This time open the material editor. This time turn off reflectance, go to your color, pick whatever color you want to pick. I think I'll go, how about, I don't have a good yellow. So let's go with a yellow. Now, I have the color selected. This time scroll all the way to the bottom. You see where it says glow? Check glow. All right, and you can see what it does. It adds a glow to that yellow. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, X it out. And now we've got five different colors. In order to add color to objects, it's pretty simple. You just drag and drop it on the object, or you can drag it and drop it to the on the object manager at the uh, object manager at the very top right, where it says cube, cube one, cube two. I can drag this and select it and drop it on the actual word, and you can see that it now gives color to that object. I can also grab it and pull it and drop it here in the viewport. So what you're going to do is I want you to just practice making colors, drag and drop them on all the shapes that you've made. And then we're going to look at it real quick in render view. All right, so I've added color to all my cubes. And if you look at the top right, you can see there's a little uh, uh, icon under my objects where it shows all the uh, colors have been added. Now, in order to do kind of what a render preview, preview, go up to the top where you have your three icons for render. The very first one, if you click that, it's going to give you a render preview. And you can see we, we just have a black background because we haven't created anything. So by default, you just have black. And you can kind of see that yellow one where it has a little glow to it, where we added that glow effect to it. Now, what we're going to have to do later, and not in this video, but we'll learn to add lights. And lights is what really makes the materials uh, reflect and really brings, it brings the materials to life. 
So that's just a quick run through of adding color to objects in Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching.